What's up, everybody? It's your main man here, DJ Ron, a mechanic. Back with another video, y'all. So guess what? Hey. Y'all see the trunk, right? Yeah, that's right, y'all. We got it hooked up. If y'all remember my last video, remember I said we was gonna uh, get a chance, put it in the car and see what they do? So guess what? We have it in the car, y'all. I got it all wired up. Hey. I'm ready to see what these old school kickers can do in this box, especially in the trunk. So look, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. Y'all see I got the box sitting in the trunk already. I got it wired up to the amplifier. Now I can tell you right now. So these old school kickers here, they are wired to a four ohm load. So my monoblock amplifier, I looked up the specs, uh, does around about 400 watts at four ohms. So, so pretty much, you'd probably say each 10, I'll probably be getting about 200 watts a piece, pretty much, which is pretty much right in the range for us power wise. So, hey, that should be pretty good there. Y'all yeah, see, I have both of them. Mounting there real good. Y'all see? Look from the top there. And if you see my old videos, now remember these are the ones that I refoamed. I redid the edges on them because when I first bought the box, the these came with the box, but the surrounding was pretty much gone. You know, they didn't have no surround on them, so I kind of thought too that the woofers were were bad, you know, but something told me, hey, look, go ahead and let's go ahead and try out the voice calls on these. So I hooked it up, hooked one up to uh, to my stereo amplifier and I heard some voices. I'm like, uh oh. So I tried the other one. Same thing. I'm like, oh man, these things still work. So I'm like, cool. So I finally had got the chance to order the surround kits for the repair of these. Like I said, if you have any subwoofers that still work and the uh, surround is bad on them, you can go right there on eBay and you can order your own surround repair kit depending on what size your speaker is, whether it's an 8, 10, 12, or 15, you can order your own surround kit and fix the woofers up yourself. Save yourself some money, you know? Now I can see if they blown, then yeah, you can go ahead and throw them away then, but uh, whatever. But if they still work and they just need the edge repaired, you know, the uh, reforming, go ahead and order those kits. Go on eBay, man, and order the kits for them. Uh, the kit for these here, I found on eBay, I paid $10 for the kit. So that was, an, it came with the glue and uh, two surrounds, you know, for the take care of both woofers. So as you see, I have both of them in now, wired up. Like I said, they're wired to a four ohm load. So my monoblock amplifier at four ohms is running, it said, you know, on the spec sheet, it said like 400 watts. So at 400 watts, so we talking like 200 watts per sub. So hey, look, let's see what these bad boys can do. That's right. Okay, okay. Let's see, I got, uh, once again now, y'all, I can't play any other music, you know, just to, uh, avoid any, uh, copyright. So, I, I'm only using YouTube approved music. That's it. So, so just bear with me, y'all. Trust me. If I had it my way, I would be, be bringing up something real good up in there, but... Hey, it is what it is. So let me get my uh, my USB together. Okay, I just plugged my USB in. Oh, uh, it should get ready to pop up. Boy, I wish I could play that right there. Oh my goodness. But I can't. There we go, USB popped in. Okay, let 
Okay, let me see. Like I said, this is YouTube music, so let me see what I have here. Yeah. Yeah, let's try this one here. Okay, got a got a little bass out of that. So I need a uh, let me see if I can find another track with some a little heavier. Let me see what this is here. What we got? What we got? Let's find some. Let me see what's track eleven. Let's try this one here. Let's see what we do. We inside the car.
already, y'all. They actually don't sound that bad up in here. Not bad at all. Yeah, look like they are. They holding up pretty good back there. I mean, like I say, unfortunately, I can't play the music that I want to play. You know, like I said, for copyright reasons. So, I mean, for right now, all I'm using is the YouTube music now. Uh, it didn't sound that bad. But I wish I could play something that was a little bit more heavier. I mean, I really want to have these bad boys do something. Let's see if I can find another track. Let me see here. Let me try this track here, see what it do. goodness boy let me go ahead and cut this off man when i tell y'all those two kicker tins moving some air goodness gracious man them things are moving some air out that port god dog it. yes sir boy 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 Checking it out. Yep, everything uh, looks pretty good up and down. Yep, the surrounds is uh, looking good on that. Nothing is loose. Man. Boy. Hey, like I said, uh, <laughs> Them bad boys were pushing some air out these ports, boy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, look, I tried those, those ball subs. Uh, they had a little air, you know, but, boy, these bad boys were pushing some air, though. Y'all comment below. Tell me what y'all think. They sounded pretty good, though. Now you got to think about it, too. Now, you know, that was YouTube-approved music now. 
Now, what I want to play, I'm going to have to do it off camera, you know, <laughs> for the CBD bad boys do. But, uh, hey, I am impressed, though. I mean, they sounded pretty good up in there. Yes, indeed. Pretty good. So, yep, if you want my verdict, hey, look. Hey, I give it a thumbs up on this one. Now, the only downfall that I would say, though, by these being older subs, so they can only be wired to a full on load. So, uh, so roughly, you might as well say you, something like this here, you probably need about a, uh, about a good, I would say a 400 watt amplifier should do you good on these, you know, run them safely. That should give you enough sound, you know? Yep, they look pretty good up in there. Sound pretty good too. Nice bass, nice bass sound. So yep, hey, I can go ahead and take it back out. I like the way it sounded. So yep, hey, that's it y'all. Y'all heard them. Some old tins that I fixed up. Put them in a box, wired them up. Like I said, power wires. Like I said, that's 400 watts. Playing on them. Didn't sound that bad. I liked it. Dude. I mean, shoot, them little tins was moving some air. Shoot, kind of remind me of my 12s a little bit moving some air like this. But the only thing is, they can't hold the power like my 12s do. So that's the only thing now. So, but yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. No doubt about that. This is more like for what y'all call it. I call it like a little sort of beginning in a medium type system, pretty much, you know. Uh, it's not gonna be nothing that's gonna do some hair tricks, so you might as well get that out your mind right now. It's not gonna do that. Uh, you will get, you know, some rattling. You will get that. Uh, the bass is, bass was pretty good on it. I liked it there. You know, it blended right in, you know, so it wasn't overpowering, but you can tell that that box was back there and it sounded pretty good though. I like that. And that's on 400 watts. But like I also said though, that was on YouTube music there. That wasn't, you know, our regular music that we used to, uh, you know, crank up and let them woofers go, but yeah. That's all right, though. Hey, like I said, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to play with them off camera and, uh, yeah, see what these bad boys get down to. But they didn't sound that bad at all, y'all. I like them. Like I said, let me take a look at them. These are old Comp VRs, y'all. Yes, indeed. They sounding pretty good, though. So... Hey, look, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know the usual. Hey, look, I'm gonna go ahead and take it back out. Set the box back up. And put my bad boy back in there. That's right. Big boy going back in. The little brother is coming out. That's it, but, hey, like I said, the sound test, hey, it, it sounded pretty good, though. I ain't gonna lie about that. It, it sounded pretty good inside that car. Not bad for two tens, no. Not bad at all. So, hey, look, I appreciate y'all hanging with me on this journey here with these tens. So, for those that seen the videos from day one when I first got the box up until now, so we made some progress, you know. And I've been wondering, like, you know, like what they sounded like in this box, but yeah, they sound pretty good, though. No doubt about that. So, hey, look, this is DJ Ron, the mechanic here. Hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, y'all. So that way, you won't miss a video when I drop one. So, yeah, I am impressed with these here, no doubt. But that's not the end of my testing, though. No, sir. Guess what? 
We got this bad boy up next. Yeah, that's right. I'm waiting to hear this one. Now, this box here is for 212s. That's right. 212s. And guess what? There you go, the 12s in the box is right there. Ah, I'm not going to show them to you just yet. Y'all just wait for the video to come out. Then we'll share it together, you know. But hey, other than that, hey, look. Y'all see the box here? Now, I don't know the tuning specs of it, you know. Not at all. Sorry, I can't help you with that. But hey, it sounds pretty good with these kickers in there. So, all right, y'all, this DJ Ron Mechanic. Hey, look, I'm out, and look, I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. <laughs>